The reason IRs need to really get more engaged and educated about quality is because as innovation is the defining term in interventional radiology, quality is really the defining term in healthcare policy these days. So for us, our task is really to show how innovation leads to quality, which leads to value. And value is, you know, the classic value equation is quality over cost. So there's really three ways to get there to improve value, which is you can increase quality, you can decrease cost, or you can do both. And I think interventional radiologists have been doing that since Charles Dodder did it the first time with the first angioplasty. You know, he really added value to the healthcare system. So that's really what, what we're having to prove now. Uh, what we've already, what we've always known, but now we have to get the evidence to prove it. I think policymakers, payers, legislators, so many people, that's really where they're at these days. As I think everybody uh, likely knows, healthcare is a, a huge uh, cost uh, to the country, and so we really, you know, and patients are bearing a larger burden of that cost, so it's really incumbent on all of us that participate in the healthcare system to make sure that we're providing the best value to patients as possible. So that is part of the, the challenge is to get some objectivity incorporated into, uh, into, the, into value and into quality. Things like quality measures help us do that. By finding evidence-based quality measures, that is the way that we can objectify things. I think most people believe that they provide good quality care and I think they endeavor to do that, but I think we can also all agree that there's probably some variation and some range in the quality that's delivered by people within one specialty and across different specialties. So by getting evidence and by getting measurable things, that's really how we can take the subjectivity out of it and make it a more objective science. I think there's a great deal of opportunity for us in several areas, whether it's in interventional oncology, women's imaging, central venous access, hemodialysis access. We have huge volumes, we have robust patient populations, we have unmatched expertise, and I think there's we've already made great strides and there's a lot more we can do to really show the, the by evidence the value that we provide in those kind of uh, service lines to our patients.